This is a Friends SP200 amplifier. It has a few problems and I want to work on it and uh, hopefully correct some of those problems and then also do a few upgrades to it. And also clean it, clean it up a little bit. It's, it's not in too bad a shape as far as the physical looks of it. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is take the tubes out so that uh, they don't get damaged when I'm working on it. This amplifier is unplugged, uh, so there's no danger of uh, it being electrified. Uh, the top safety covering here, all the screws have already been removed. And all I'm going to do here is take a uh, screwdriver and just make sure that the, the tubes are discharged by touching the screwdriver to the chassis, and they are. And you can also see by the meter that I'm on the uh, the voltage setting. Or it should be high, and it reads zero. Let me show you a closer view of this. Okay, so all I'm doing here is removing these uh, connections to the, the top cap on here and then I'm going to pull the tubes out and I'll pack them in a box so that they uh, don't get damaged. Just wanted to give you a view inside here without the tubes in it. This is the uh, fan that supposedly cools the tubes, not much of a fan. Next thing I'm going to do is pull the amplifier out of this chassis so that you can get at the underside of it as well. To do that I'll have to remove the feet off the bottom. These feet go all the way through, or the screws go all the way through to the chassis, and they're flathead screws, which I don't particularly like. So when I replace them, I'm going to replace them with Phillips head screws so they're easier to do if you can't see it. And um, I'm going to replace the feet, or at least some of them as well. To give you an idea what it looks like on the back here, there's just this open slot and power cord, so everything just pulls out from the front. Thank you. 
this chassis can just be set aside now. And there's a good reason for setting it on this side with the meter face down, and that's because inside the transformer is the heaviest part that will help keep it uh, from falling over your working on the side so it's not as top heavy if it was the other way around. One of the first things I'm going to do is replace these two old capacitors. I have some uh, modern electrolytics that are going to replace these. So that'll be the first item I do. Uh, the second thing I think is probably this uh, transmit receive relay that has contacts that are a little bit dirty. You can burnish them um, with some success sometimes. I would only recommend burnishing them with regular paper, not sandpaper, not emery paper, anything like that, just paper. But before I do anything, I'm going to take some pictures with my cell phone so I have a good idea how everything's laid out before I even start. And I have a record of it so I can refer back to it later on. That's enough. I just took pictures of this area here. I didn't take anything back here yet. Another thing is the, the, the switches that have these contacts on need to be cleaned. They're dirty as well. <laughs> 